everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a short Q&A session. Some of you guys asked me some questions regarding bootcamp, becoming a software engineer, and everything along those lines. So I will be answering all those questions in this video today. I apologize, it took me so long to make this video, but I will shut up now so we can get started. Okay, so for the first question, what did you learn during bootcamp? So during bootcamp, I learned three full stacks. We had about three weeks to learn each stack. It was the LAMP stack, the mean stack, and ROR. LAMP, stacks, LAMP stack stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Uh, mean stack stands for Mongoose, Express, Angular, and Node. And ROR stands for Ruby on Rails. And my favorite stack during bootcamp was definitely Ruby on Rails. Okay, for the next question, what do you do at your current job? So right now I'm a full stack engineer, which means I do some stuff for the front end and I do some stuff for the back end, which I like because I feel like I get the best of both worlds. Um, I, we do Vue.js for the front end and we do Web3 for the back end, which is an Ethereum API. Next question, do you have any resources to give us to help make the career transition? I will link down below all the resources that I can think of and if you're looking for a specific question, I would just Google it. Google is your best friend and you will soon realize this as you get more coding experience. For example, if you're trying to find a coding bootcamp in your area, I would just Google coding bootcamp and then your city and I'm sure the best coding bootcamps will be listed. If you're trying to find some free resources to use before joining bootcamp, one that I used was called Code Academy and they offer a multitude of different languages and they have very quick and easy tutorials. I haven't used it since bootcamp, so I'm not too sure how it's like now. Okay, for the next question, can you tell us how your days at work have been following the bootcamp? So right now, I'm at my third job since bootcamp. I won't go into too much detail about my first job because I have a video all about it and I will and I will link it down below. I don't really feel like I've come across anything at work that I couldn't solve without the help of a coworker or Google. Like I mentioned, Google will become your best friend and it definitely has been my best friend throughout these past few years. But usually if you're working at a company as a software engineer, your day will usually consist of a daily stand-up, which is just a quick meeting where you gather with your team and each person discusses what they will do for the day and they'll ask any questions or talk about any blockers. And after that meeting, you pretty much just go straight to working or coding. Um, you'll either pick up a new task or continue working on whatever you're working on before. Next question, did you feel that the bootcamp prepared you well? Yes, I think it did provide me a good solid foundation. I didn't find it too difficult to start working at my first job. I feel like once you learn one language, it's pretty easy to pick up others. I do feel like bootcamp could have prepared me better for technical interviews. That has been my weakest trait and still is. Okay, next question. Did you struggle with coding at your jobs or was it easier than you thought? It was definitely not easier than I thought and I definitely had my days when I struggled. But like I mentioned, Google has been my best friend and it definitely has helped me solve a, a lot of problems on my own. And usually if you're just starting out, there, there will be somebody working above you with more experience and they are a great resource to go to if you're having any trouble. Next question, did you have the opportunity to learn new things? Yes. I've learned a lot of new things since bootcamp. I've had great mentors and I've also learned a lot on my own. For example, I've had to learn Vue.js for my current role. Uh, it was pretty easy to pick up because it's so similar to Angular. I've also had to learn Web3 for my current role and the struggle I have with that is that the community is a lot smaller so it's a bit more challenging to find the answers to the questions that I'm looking for. I think you will always have the opportunity to learn something new because the chances that you know the entire stack that your company is doing is very slim. Okay, next question. Was there pressure on you to complete stories by, your, by yourself? I've done quite a few stories by myself and there was definitely pressure, but I think it was pressure that I put up on myself. I wanted to finish, finish stories as quickly as possible with, of course, good clean code to, you know, try to impress my managers, especially because I didn't really have too much past experience. I feel like companies are pretty understanding as long as you're working hard and you're asking questions when you need help. Okay, next question. What happens when you struggle with a story? Well, first, I would Google the questions that I have and if that doesn't work out, then I would ask a coworker or manager and usually they would be able to help me out. Were you applying all over the US or a, or a particular area? <laughs> I cannot talk. Uh, I'm looking in a 6 million people area currently. Um, for my first job, I was pretty much just applying in my region 
which has about like 24 million people. If I didn't get any good feedback here, then I probably would have looked out of state um, or in a different region. My first job ended up being about an hour south of where I was living. Okay, next question. What was coding bootcamp like and would you recommend coding dojo? Coding bootcamp was kind of like a full-time job with overtime work that you had to do on the weekends. I do recommend coding dojo, although I did go when I was first starting out in Burbank. So I was the only cohort, I was in the only cohort that was going on, and I think they usually have three going on at once. So I was able to get three instructors instead of just one. So I think I had a lot more hands-on assistance. I'm not too sure how it's like now, but I do have a referral code somewhere that will give you $500 off if you're interested. I had some great instructors there and they were able to teach me everything I needed to know to land my first job. Okay, last question. What is it like working in blockchain? What should someone looking to get into blockchain development look into studying? Um, I think it's a pretty cool experience because it's so new and there's so much to learn but you can also say because it's so new that it's a bit risky to work in because literally anything can happen the community is still pretty small so it can be a little challenging sometimes to find information that I'm looking for if you're looking to become a blockchain developer I would look into studying Solidity or Web3 those are all the questions and answers I have for you guys I hope that was helpful and I hope you guys learned a little something if you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!